My name is Tanzania. I am the Academic Preparation Specialist for UC Berkeley Upper Bound, Upper Bound Math and Science. Um, so I kind of will be the MC for tonight or for today. Um, just quickly for the agenda, we're going to go over staff introductions. Of course, we're going to talk about our program, what to expect this summer, the application process, and then give you all um, opportunities for questions and answer. So we do have a few of our staff members here and uh, I'm going to pass it to our interim director, Hazel. Aloha everyone, I'm Hazel Amina. I'm serving as the interim director currently with the Upper Bound and Upper Bound Math and Science program. Just to give you an update, we are in the process of identifying our pre-college trio director and hopefully the individual will be identified by soon, um, hoping to start by March 1st. But in the meanwhile, I am a, a, a former Upper Bound participant from the Hawaii Upper Bound. So if you didn't know, um, TRIO extends through many states and across the nation. And so I was part of the Hawaii Upper Bound program. When I was in high school, I also had the opportunity to be a part of the exchange program with the UC Berkeley Upper Bound Math and Science program. So I was there back in the, the 90s when it first started with the, a pilot program at UC Berkeley. I am originally born and raised in Hawaii, went to school in Hawaii as well, and then I've worked with the UC Berkeley program for the past 21 years. And so welcome, thank you for coming this evening and learning a little bit more about our program. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Taylor Miles. I'm the Associate Director of Academics for Upper Bound, Upper Bound Math and Science at UC Berkeley. Um, I'm originally from Detroit, Michigan, and my background is in industrial engineering um, as well as educational studies. So uh, prior to this role, I actually taught um, high school in Chicago. Um, and I'm so happy to see everybody here and I'm um, looking forward to sharing more information about our uh, program. Then we have our program coordinator, Maja. She couldn't make it, but she's from Sacramento. She's like the backbone of our program. She does all the money, the finance, like without her, of course, we would not be successful. <laughs> so her hard work is the reason why we're able to do a lot of the work that we, we are doing. Um, and we also have Denzel. He's actually just our college advisor for Upper Bound, but he support Upper Bound Math and Science as well um in all of our programming so of course we have to now acknowledge him so Denzel from Oakland and we have Shade so Shade you know I kind of told her last minute <laughs> because she did just have a baby but Shade is of course the backbone of math and science so I'll let her introduce herself hello everyone excuse my appearance I did just want to drop in and see all of your lovely faces um, I like Tanzania had mentioned, I, my name is Shade. I am the math science program coordinator. So I actually have Tanzania filling in for me right now. And she's doing an outstanding job. Oh God. Um, <laughs> the baby's like, you know, perfect timing. Um, I'm from Stockton and okay. Just skip me. Cause he's not going to let me finish, but it's nice to see you all. I will show you all the baby in like two seconds. So welcome everyone. And I look forward to seeing you all um, this summer if, if you apply and I hope um, you, you all do apply. So welcome everyone. Thank you, Shade. And yeah, again, there's me, Tanzania. Um, right now I'm like the point person. So there's my email, my phone number. I'm from Oakland, California, born and raised. I went to Lewis and Clark College in um, Portland and I received my BA in psychology. And as Shade mentioned, I am like fulfilling her role um, in serving all of the UBMS students while she's on maternity leave. Um, and this is our unofficial mascot, Snow. She's always in our meetings. So you will see her a lot <laughs> this summer if you join us. So yes, that's our staff. Now we're going to talk about the history, and I'm actually going to pass it to Hazel to talk about UBMS. <laughs> cool. Thank you, Tanzania and team. Um, so as I indicated, the Upper Bound Math and Science program at UC Berkeley started in the 90s. It was one of the first programs um, that was part of a pilot program to help students that was part of the TRIO community to consider future careers in STEM. 
And so the program when it initially started was a regional center. It's still a regional center where we had worked with different sending projects such as Chico, ETS. We've also worked with Chico Upward Bound. We've worked with the programs in the Monterey area. So the Mar Monterey Peninsula College. We've worked with students in San Diego at the Wahoopa Educational Talent Search. We've worked with Cal Poly Pomona Upper Bound program. So we've reached many different places in California. Uh, they've also extended to reach with students in Hawaii. So that's how I was part of the program. We've worked with students in Nevada. So the University of Nevada, Reno, Upper Bound, we connected with them. And we also worked with Arizona State University when we initially started. So, you know, students had opportunities to learn about many different cultures, many different opportunities to share about their own personal experiences. Students coming from rural areas like in the Chico area versus somebody's coming from an urban school in the Bay Area and other places. So it was a great opportunity for everybody to come together. Uh, we did provide, when we were in person, we provided field trips for students um, on the weekends when we were all living in the residence hall. And this summer we we're looking into different virtual opportunities to help develop STEM interests and to expose you to that career pathway if you choose that, that option. And so we just want to just thank you for that. Upper Bound's been around for the, since 1964 or six, 91 for math and science, but definitely in the 60s is what the program was designed to do is to help provide opportunities for families or students who didn't have access to resources and who had limited access to different opportunities. And so the programs exist now so that we can continue to providing that. Our goal is to make sure you graduate from high school and to provide you with as much tools and resources to make yourself successful in whichever pathway you choose beyond high school. Um, although we do have to monitor your progress once you graduate from high school for the next six years, because that's connected to our grant um, to be able to get some experience points in our annual performance report, we do want to make sure that you know that we are a resource to you. And once you're in TRIO, you're always in TRIO. So as an ETS student, you're part of the TRIO family, as well as Upper Bound is part of it, and the Upper Bound Math and Science Program. All right, thanks. Back to you, Tanzania. Thank you, Hazel. Um, so for roles and responsibility as your um, UBMS advisor for right now, no, uh, we, I serve as a sup supplemental advisor uh, to you all on a monthly basis. And so what that means is I provide college application support when you become a senior, uh, scholarship information, and I also um, do one-on-one -on -one virtual check-ins. And um, I also, of course, collaborate with your ascending project, like directors and advisors to see how we can better support you all um, as students. So the services that I provide or that we provide um, is college and financial aid application support, virtual tutoring. Um, this year, because of the pandemic, we have opened our tutoring services to everyone. So a lot of the students from Chico ETS actually use our tutoring services. Uh, we have tutors that you know, help with mainly the main subjects. So um, science, math, English, et cetera. Um, again, the virtual one-on-one -on -one check ins And we also have the STEM-related major and career exploration support and social and cultural awareness workshops. Uh, we have combined those with our local Upper Bound program because we're virtual. So why not give this resource to everyone? Um, the ex expectations is pretty simple. Um, meet with me or Sade when she comes back once a month. Attend our summer program. Maintain at least um, a 2.5 GPA and be committed and be present. So what that means is, you know, attend our workshops, our events, um, really wanted to go into the STEM field and, you know, you want to use our resources and take advantage of it. So that's what it means by being committed and being present. So what to expect this summer? Um, this summer is gonna be really exciting. The dates are June 21st to July 30th. However, we do have a career pathway that's gonna extend an extra week. So if students are a part of the career pathway, um, the end date would be August 6th. 
the program components, uh, we are offering academic advising, college and career advising, academic and career coursework, community building, uh, program supplies. So last summer, we were able to give students laptop to do our classes, um, summer meal program. Um, last summer, we also were able to do um, weekly groceries for our students. So we're trying to figure out we're gonna do the same this summer, but definitely you're gonna have a meal program. Uh, we are providing program swag and incentives and program stipends, which I would get you know into further into the um, presentation. So we also have three academic pathways, um, academic enrichment, high school credit, and career exploration pathways that I'm going to get into. That was a lot. Um, so just a disclaimer, uh, we're, we're still in the planning stages. So a lot of the classes and the pathway might change, but so far this is what we have um, down, but just a disclaimer that we're still planning um, and you will all get updates every time we plan. Um, Taylor, I can do this one for you. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> you're going to be saying a lot. <laughs> Um, so for the academic pathway, uh, academic enrichment pathway, this is our like least commitment uh, pathway is 10 hours a week, Monday to Thursday. Um, and this is where students are able to take an online UC Scout course without the midterm and final and really just getting that content enrichment. So for example, if you are in geometry right now and you're taking algebra two next year, then you get in that enrichment. You get, you're gonna be in algebra two, understanding before you start the academic school year. Um, this one you will not will not receive high school credit and the academic office hours are optional because you're just getting this enrichment piece. You're not getting any credit. So if you do everything you're supposed to do, you will receive up to $120 stipend at the end of the six weeks. Um, this is our weekly schedule for that pathway. So again, Monday to Thursday, um, every Monday, we will all come together in the morning, give you all updates, community building, kind of start the week off strong from 9 to 10 a.m. Then uh, you will have class Monday, Wednesdays for two hours. Um, the academic discussions, uh, which you'll work with our TAs. Um, then you have a lunch break. And then every Monday we have uh, openings for individual like advising appointments. So this is where you can make an appointment with the advisor. Uh, you only need to do it one time of the uh, summer. So that's the time available. And then again, the um, optional academic office hours, Tuesday, Thursdays. And then we have um, mandatory weekly career advising um, courses every Wednesday. Sorry, our mascot is kind of mad right now. Um, and then no uh, programming on Fridays. So do we have any questions? I can't read the chat, but do we have any questions about that pathway? That was a lot. Not at this time. <laughs> okay, great. So now I'm gonna turn it off to Taylor. So oh, thank you, Tanzania. And we're going to jump into that second pathway. Um, this particular pathway allows students to uh, receive high school graduation credit. So we are going to be working with UC Scout to provide those online courses. And with this particular pathway, um, the anticipation uh, for commitment is about 15 hours a week, Monday through Friday. Um, you'll attend an online UC Scout course um, that will require you to complete a midterm and a final. Um, and you'll receive high school credit upon sat satisfactory um, completion of that course. Um, for this particular pathway, academic office hours are mandatory. So you must attend um, office hours at least once a week with um, our undergraduate teaching assistants um, that will assist you in the course. Um, and that's part of the requirements um, for that particular pathway. Um, upon meeting all the um, requirements for this pathway, students will receive um, high school graduation credit for the course that they're taking, as well as an $120 stipend. And um, these are some of the uh, courses that we are exploring providing for the summer. So um, mathematics courses that include algebra two, pre-calculus and calculus, as well as um, introductions to robotic engineering. 
and this is the sample schedule for the high school credit pathway. Um, as you can see, there are some similarities with the academic enrichment. Um, so you have the weekly community circle where everyone in the program gathers Monday morning. Um, we go through announcements, we have some activities, um, we do some community building, um, and then you transition into your academic instruction. So for the high school credit pathway, you are in, um, you're receiving instruction Monday, Wednesday, and Friday um, from that 10, that 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Um, time. And then Tuesdays and Thursdays, uh, 10 to 12, you will be um, in your academic discussions working with your, um, your undergraduate teaching assistant um, on your coursework. Uh, similar to the academic enrichment piece, there's um, openings for individual advising appointments. So this is um, not time that you, you're expected to uh, do every week. Uh, like Tanzania said, you'll be making that appointment um, one time throughout the program. So it'll either be on a Monday or a Friday, that's when that's open. You will have to attend office hours one of those uh, Tuesday or Thursday. So you can select whether you're gonna attend office hours um, Tuesday or Thursday if you take the high, the high school credit pathway. And then of course we have our weekly college and career um, advising course um, that is cohorted based on your um, grade level. So we have a ninth grade course, a 10th grade course and 11th grade course. All right, and this is our final pathway, okay? Um, so our final pathway is the career exploration pathway, and it is actually um, our work study program. So this particular pathway will require about 20 hours a week um, in commitment, as well as that additional week for the project. So um, Tanzania prefaced earlier that the career pathway, that end date is August 6th, and that additional week is for finalizing that uh, work study project. Um, this particular pathway involves a course. So you'll take an online STEM course that will have assessments and weekly projects. Um, you'll have that career exploration final project that is gonna be due August 6th. Um, and that project um, is essentially a career portfolio where you're gonna create a resume, a cover letter, and you're gonna do a career research report and interview a career professional. So this um, is a very intense pathway. It's um, a very large project um, and part of this pathway is also attending those mandatory mandatory um, academic discussions and office hours and upon completion of the course and the project and um, the program uh, requirements um, students will be eligible for a $900 stipend. Right. Some of the career um, exploration pathways that we're considering are um, health and medicine. Uh, we also are exploring um, coding um, with C++. Um, and we actually have some updates. Um, so we recently found out that the, the vendor we're working with, they won't be offering Python, but we're gonna be um, exploring an animation course. So um, looking at the health and medicine, the C++ and the um, animation course will be the career op um, offerings for the summer. And this is the tentative weekly schedule, very similar to the um, to the high school uh, credit. Um, but there's, a, as you can see, there's a class every day. So for the career uh, pathway course, you'll have um, some type of class every day. You'll have um, the academic discussion four days a week. And then your office hours are a little bit later in the day on the Tuesday and Thursday. And again, um, it is mandatory to attend um, at least once a week, those office hours. You have your um, weekly college and advising course. And then these um, slots for your individual advising appointments are a little bit later in the day as well. Um, again, that's something you'll be participating in once throughout the summer program. And I believe that is all for the pathways. Um, were there any questions on any of the courses or pathways? All right, well, I'll pass it along. Thank you, Taylor. So the application process. Um, for any returning students, I don't know if there are any students, but you'll be doing this um, 
application. So you would not do the new student application. Um, and then for new students, that is the link, uh, tinyurl.com slash UCB UBMS app. 2021. If somebody could put that in the chat, <laughs> that'd be great. Thank you. Um, so for new students, the process, uh, you'll fill out the application. The deadline is March 5th, which is coming up, um, as well as submit a teacher, a math or science teacher recommendation, also due March 5th. Um, once you submit the application, you will receive an email from me telling you, just reminding you to uh, do the recommendation and next steps. And then after March 5th, uh, myself, Taylor, and probably Sade will um, review all the applications and you will hear from us by April 9th. And then you will submit a, a summer commitment form after that once you get into our program. Uh, so for the requirements, it's very similar to um, probably Chico ETS requirement. So have a 2.5 GPA average because we are upper bound math and science have uh, possess a strong interest, not just in math and science, but in STEM, like period. Uh, participate in our program for two years consecutively. Um, be available to participate for the entirety of the six-week program. But of course, if you do the career exploration project, um, it's seven weeks. And then be low income and first generation to college, meaning that neither of your parents has earned a bachelor's degree in the United States. And lastly, be a U.S. citizen, permanent resident, or in the process of applying to be a citizen or permanent resident. So you have to submit proof if that is the case. Um, are, there, are there any questions about the requirements, the application process? No. Oh, so that's our last slide. Questions? <laughs> Tanzania, do you want to let them know about the application support if they need it? Yeah. You, thank you, Sade. Mm -hmm. uh, before I get there, please follow us on Instagram. Um, that's where we update all of like our flyers and post everything about our program um, and see like what we did last summer, our posts and flyers. So that is our Instagram. And then lastly, I do have an exit survey. Just tell me if you do have questions and you didn't have the opportunity to ask today, uh, please do that. And I have extended my office hours so people can um, make an appointment with me, an individual appointment where we can go over the application together. Um, if you have any questions about the application and you're stuck, you can definitely make a Zoom appointment with me. If you're not comfortable with Zoom, um, I will put my phone number and my email in the chat. Uh, just don't call or text me past six o'clock, but anytime before then, you got me. Um, but yeah, I really want you all to be a part of our program. So I've extended my office hours so um, you can get that extra support as well as from your advisors with ETS as well. Um, and that is it from us. So let me put all that information. Uh, we did share the link uh, in the chat. There's a link to the slides and in the slides, there's phone numbers, contact information. So that's another way you could utilize the slides to reach out to our staff. And yeah, so definitely some of the links are there in the chat for the exit survey, as well as the application support. Thank you, Hazel. I just want to add that this is a really good opportunity if you're looking for <laughs> and why every time I talk, you want to talk. <laughs> um, if you're looking for, you know, next level experience, uh, being a part of our UBMS program is definitely that. And even though it's to a virtual capacity this year, if you're a rising, if you're going to be a rising sophomore or junior, um, you will have the opportunity, you know, hopefully we can go back to the in-person model next summer. But with our returning students, um, of course, you still have to apply and, and remain in good standing. But you would have that opportunity to also experience the on-campus residential program. Um, so just something to keep in mind as well. Yes, thank you, Sade. Um, are there any questions about anything? Again, please take advantage of the application support. Um, in an exit survey. If you do have any questions and you're just shy, I get it. 
Um, but we really hope to see you all this summer. Um, we really hope you all, you know, complete the application um, because Chico usually show out and come up, you know, through come through the, during our summer program. So um, yes, please represent. And yeah, we're good. Thank you so much, Sandra, for putting this together. Yeah, of course. So thank you so much for coming. So students, I don't know if you know, but they came specifically for you. So we were able to create this information session for our ETS scholars. And, and I'm so glad you were able to join because what a better way to understand whether this is a great program for you or not by hearing about the program before you submit or before you start your application process. So there was a lot of great information. Please continue to reach out or reach out to your advisors and we can get, get you contacted to the right people. Thank you so much for joining. Do you have any questions? Throw it in the chat. In the chat, Don't be afraid. Hopefully uh, we answered some of your questions already because we asked you to ask a question prior hand. So yeah, thank you so much for all the support. Um, and then quick story, I was an upward bound and ETS in high school and I highly, highly recommend it. It is such a great um, way to, to be part of another program that's, you know, specifies in STEM and math and science. If that's something you wanna try or maybe, uh, maybe you're interested in a major already, or you really love math, you really love science, this is a great way to figure out if this is something for you. And, and of course, it's going to look amazing on your college applications, because you're committed to a six-week summer program. And continuously, you know, you get to continue to have that support throughout the year. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. Also, I want to share if you want numbers. So our program is funded to $429,000 to serve 81 students in our upper bound math and science students. So the what it comes down to is each of the participants that are in our program is valued at $5,000. So that's $5,000 worth of services available to you. So the staff is available, those different programs that we're gonna have set up. So just something to think about. And you know, also if you come in, it's gonna be every year. So yeah, and if you have any questions, let us know. We're trying to find ways to help support you. And the reason we have the work study path extended into August is because we wanna provide you that extra $300. So it's $300 a month for the summer program with the work study program. And so, in order to extend it so that you can get up to $900, that's why we're, it's bridging over to August. So just keep that in mind. Well, yes, thank you all for showing up and letting us present. Um, that's it from us. Thank you. Well, let's give a round of applause or a little reaction. Thank you so much for coming to present to us. Great information, even for all of us as staff. Thank you. Thank you, scholars, for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You all have a good evening. You too. Thank you. Thank you.